Hello everyone, my name's Kitetsu and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be doing something different and that is reacting to some 40k news. Now if you are returning to my channel, which I assume quite a few people are, then you will know that primarily my channel is Age of Sigma and Warhammer Fantasy based. It's actually been quite a long time since I added anything to my 40k playlist, but here's the thing. I make these videos because I want to talk about the things that I absolutely love and at the moment it is so such an incredible time to be a Warhammer 40k fan with 9th edition just around the corner and with this new box set announced and all these beautiful new models being previewed you can guarantee that I am really hyped about that. So the first thing I want to say is in terms of my background with 40k, I'm not an expert on it. I've read about four of the Horus Heresy novels, which I was really enjoying. My main interest is with Death Guard and possibly uh, Imperial Fists, which is a more recent collection of mine, relatively speaking. I have the Necron Start collecting set. I bought that really recently, along with the Codex, and I haven't actually played Necrons yet. I I've played against them when I took my Imperial Knights army around my mate's house and he destroyed them with his tailored Necron list. I can't blame him for making a tailored list if I was bringing Knights, but yeah, these box sets that come out from Games Workshop, I always find that they are really exciting for the faction that isn't Space Marines. Don't get me wrong, I love the Space Marines too, but think about that last box set that came out with the uh, Death Guard in it, Dark Imperium. It was such an incredible box set. And it was so cool to see them make some of the best models they have ever made in the history of Games Workshop. I honestly cannot tell you how much I love the Death Guard models. But yeah, what I thought I'd do in this video is react to all of the Necron models that they've shown so far. If people are interested, I can talk about the Primaris in another video. But right, let's start with the Overlord. This guy looks amazing. And in fact, I'm going to try and ban the word amazing for my vocabulary for this video because I'm going to be saying it a lot otherwise. But the posing looks fantastic. Something I should really quickly point out out is I haven't really looked at any of these models. I've kind of skimmed through them and it was this article here that showed the new heavy destroyers that made me think wow my hype level is uh, kind of breaking right now. But yeah the uh, new overlord he looks absolutely fantastic. His weapon is super cool. Have they decided to give him some sort of Necron power fist thing? Let me have a quick read. A tachyon arrow. Oh, okay, so I see it launches a little arrow. That's really sweet. Yeah, I'm not lying when I say that I haven't really looked at these models. But something I am noticing right from the offset is that they're kind of very subtly a lot more impressive than what's come before. You're not going to be disappointed by taking the old models and sticking them on the tabletop. This still looks absolutely great. Give him the same sort of paint job and he'll fit right in but very subtly there are a lot more nuances to these models. I think if I had to pick the thing that I like the most of the new model is actually this writing and the extra detail across here. I think that absolutely makes the model. It looks so good. I should probably uh, mention here as well that I am a huge fan of this new paint scheme that they've come up with. I'm not sure which Necron dynasty that relates to because I'm a total noob. But yeah, he's a super nice model. I'm also a really big fan of how they base these models too. They should definitely do a uh, guide of how they've done that. But right, next we've got the Royal Warden. Nice. So if an overlord needs a job done right, it's time to call a Royal Warden to keep things on track. Tough as nails. I can almost guarantee that if I scroll down to the bottom, it's going to say something about being more tough than nails. Armed with a Relic Gauss Blaster. Even better, he's got a foot on a rock. Okay, great. So again, the amazing symbols looking fantastic. He's almost got that kind of uh, original Overlord style coat thing going on. But actually, even looking at this model, you can really subtly see just how much more detail there is even in his cloak. But yeah, that looks absolutely magnificent. It looks so cool with the black there in the middle. But I mean, yeah, that gets the seal of approval from me. That looks fantastic. Next, we've got this looks like a kind of cryptic. Uh, so he's a plasmancer, a mysterious class of cryptic. He's a master in the art of weaponizing the hyper technology of the Necrons. That thing looks pretty cool. It's equally deadly at range as it is up close. So, so yeah, this model looks pretty sweet. I really like the uh, little vial things that he's got 
got on his back those look very cool it reminds me of the latest cryptic model they released where is it is that no not that one here we go this guy here this is also a relatively recent model if i had to pick between the two i would say maybe i like this version more but i don't know there's something a bit more sinister and uh kind of ancient looking about this one that i really like and bearing in mind that necrons are supposed to be so ancient that kind of uh, is a bit more in theme i guess so next we've got the crypto thralls these uh have a bit more i was about to say a bit more of a robot feel to them but that would have been stupid to say in a necron video they kind of remind me a bit more of like mechs there's something almost a little bit half-life 2 about these models but i can't quite put my finger on it but i mean they just look like kind of tubes with giant scythes i guess let's see what it says about these long taloned murder bucket things <laughs> that's a pretty uh apt description of them oh okay so basically they are bodyguards to some of the nicer models up above but there's more to them than meets the eye now these are not my favorite models so far i would say that i'm way more excited about these three that we've seen above but they're nice enough models and they're kind of unique which is good and i can imagine their rules being relatively fun as kind of bodyguards so it says their master is the plasmancer so yeah thematically very cool again now look at this thing this is just one of the most astonishing models ever you look at the uh, guy at the top and you think yeah he means business he's going to be chopping off some heads <laughs> and then you scroll down and you see this thing and it brings on like a whole new meaning of of looking tough but the first thing i guess that uh, stands out to me about this model apart from how enormous it looks is uh, how much of a fan i am of these three legs they look incredibly cool oh, i mean the paint job on this thing is stunning as well but look how much detail there is on this thing the weapons the hand everything about this just looks amazing what a cool centerpiece model to uh, have in your necron army again sticking with the incredibly cool rune things yeah no i absolutely love this i wonder if there's a sense of scale of this thing in this image yeah he's absolutely beastly i would have to say that that could well be my favorite model so far in the set and again nice bits of scenery and another thing i'm a huge fan of with stuff like this is it's so detailed and yet nothing is screaming out at me saying like this is way too fragile he looks incredibly weighty like you can imagine him crushing rock as he's kind of walking around but yeah it's just the design of those legs it looks so cool right what have we got next so we've got the destroyers so a new type of destroyer unit these guys are obviously like the uh, minions of this guy and again they just look absolutely amazing wow look how mental this is are their weapons actually joined onto their arms yeah i think they are that is incredibly cool because let's face it if you you are a warrior robot in the future what need do you have to put your weapon down just keep them attached i highly doubt these things have a role outside of murdering things but look at the poses as well so dynamic this guy looks like he's about to leap forwards this guy's mid slash and uh this guy's got a two-handed weapon which is pretty cool yeah they look amazing i always say that it's kind of the elite units that i get most excited about so when i see they've done such a good job with a unit like this it makes me even more excited so let's have a look destroyers who scuttle forwards into combat to murder their prey rather than gunning them down from afar how could anyone not like the idea of that butchering anything in their way with their twin blades called hyperphase threshers or an enormous two-handed version the soon to be rightly feared hyperphase reap blade reap blade reaper blade they could have gone with maybe sounds a bit better but yeah it looks super cool let's have a look at this what is this a plasma site now as someone with a degree in uh, bio chemistry that sounds remarkably like something i would have studied at uni but wow this thing is adorable he almost looks like a little cute bug i'd love to put something fleshy on that and kind of convert it to uh something death guard related but yeah that's really cool i like it i'm guessing that thing's quite small i would think so seemingly innocuous machines drift in the wake of the new destroyers fairly harmless so okay this is pretty exciting so you can use this to actually make your unit of destroyers even better so i guess we're still Still waiting to uh, see what that means but I mean I would want to focus quite heavily on these guys whether they're going to be competitive or not I'm not really fussed I always go with rule of cool so if I can throw these guys on the table and make them even more powerful then this guy seems fairly essential to me and also weirdly cute yes I would agree he looks absolutely adorable so what have we got next the canoptic reanimator 
again like geez this looks absolutely amazing it really does look like something out of uh, war of the worlds but super super cool definitely not quite like anything we've seen in the necron army range before it's like i guess they've kind of taken this and just put it on really long legs i actually love this old model by the way i uh haven't got round to buying one yet i did hear one of my mates say they're actually not very good in the game but who cares still looks cool but yeah i mean look at all the little pop marks in the arm the scrapes I don't know how much of those scrapes are painted in but the detail it's just absolutely mind-boggling and I always do love that shade of green on the Necrons but yeah this thing looks absolutely stunning again the scenery on the bases is so cool I'm guessing that is immediately confirming to us that a lot of this is going to be push fit or if not push fit at least mono pose kind of like the uh, last edition but that doesn't really bother me at all no it's not an armored land walking jellyfish it's far scarier it's a long limbed support platform so as the name suggests this thing looks like it's aimed at keeping your necrons reanimation protocols working more efficiently that sounds like it has the potential to be very scary indeed was it seventh edition where necrons were seriously op but yeah let's hope they get the uh, rules balance right and let's also hope they don't kind of forget about necrons as the edition goes on that's always a bit of a fear for things that come out right at the start. So next we've got some new Scarab Swarms. Okay, I'm actually going to have to find the original ones to uh, remind you of how uh, bad they look in comparison to these new ones. There we go. There's the original ones. And now take a look at those. For a unit that's got the potential to look incredibly boring, they actually look fantastic. Who would have thought that they uh, really needed updating that badly? I kind of never really thought about it when I I looked at the uh, older ones but let's have a look guaranteed to get under the skin of their victims probably uh, literally they're not especially deadly individually easy for us to say we're not the ones fighting a metal murder bug the size of a dustbin lid but yeah obviously they're all about the uh, swarms but yeah again they look absolutely fantastic nothing to complain about there at all it's also nice that they all look completely unique so none of those bases look the same which is really cool again I'd love to know how they've painted these bases they look so good but right now let's take a look at the necron warriors now i'm gonna be honest the first time i saw one of these models i thought right it doesn't look that different is there really enough here to be getting all that excited about but when you look at an entire unit of them i think there's 20 in the box in there so this is one unit of 10 and i assume both units are going to look exactly the same but when you look at the entire unit it's another case of the really subtle details making them look overall a lot better i don't particularly think there is anything bad about these necron warriors at all but something about these just looks so much more detailed so much more refined and i'm even talking about down to the basic things like if you look at the thigh metal the shape of it and then you look at the ankles it can't just be the way that these are painted they do look really refined in the way they've been sculpted and that looks fantastic we've also got loads of subtle details to make them look more unique that's pretty cool having the uh, face all torn and damaged we've got splits in the face of this one various battle damage across all of them you would think that it's quite hard to make a unit like the necron warriors kind of feel individual and distinctive in terms of the individual models but but they've done a really great job and yeah the way they've achieved that is basically through adding various degrees of battle damage to them but yeah i mean even their rib cages when you go back and look at the original ones i was thinking they look relatively similar you've still got these kind of symbols in the middle but these ones end up just kind of looking a bit blocky and just look how incredible and more rounded and amazing these look i really don't think i gave these enough credit when i first looked at them now the big point of uh i guess contention depending on your perspective is they have swapped their flares for uh, a new barrel i'm guessing we're now totally saying goodbye to these fluorescent tubes and i think it's kind of a clever move on games workshop's part because from a distance if they had have given these the tubes i think they would have ended up looking hard to distinguish from far away on the tabletop 
Whereas now you're in a situation where if you have the old models, you're definitely going to have more of an incentive to want to go out and replace them because these are so distinctive with those tubes that you're constantly going to look at them and be like, oh yeah, these are the old ones. <laughs> I don't know. That's the impression I get at the moment. But there is also something about these that look a little bit less kind of uh, cartoony and they actually look quite intimidating. So yeah, I'm actually a massive fan of these and they're far more exciting than I thought they would be. And obviously I haven't even mentioned yet that we've got these new Reapers as well. So yeah, I'm interested to see the rules for those, but any kind of variation for this unit is great because basically that was the variation for the original set. There was nothing you could really do with them. Whereas now we've got a choice of different weapons, which is really cool. But yeah, they look fantastic. I'm a big, big fan of these. And in fact, I'm gonna have to say that now looking at these models, even though I'm a bit bummed that I've literally just bought them, I definitely feel like I'm going to want to replace them with the new ones. Ah, the life of a Warhammer fanatic, eh? But yeah, that was pretty much it for Necrons in this set. That is quite an astonishingly large number of models, and I am seriously concerned about how much we are predicting this set to be. But I mean, that right there is pretty much an army in its own right. So exciting. So, the last thing to talk about is uh, beyond the box. So there's a couple of new Necron models to look at here. Now this one as I said at the beginning this heavy destroyer this is the one that got me over excited. This thing just looks so unbelievably cool. I absolutely love these enormous tubes that are kind of feeding into the thrusters and how oversized they are. Oh, it just looks absolutely incredible. Now in the video they actually show a different option with a different weapon and that weapon looks so unbelievably cool. Here we go. I kind of uh, print screened sections of the video to see the other weapon and there was kind of a zoom in of it here. But if that isn't one of the most over the top, unbelievably cool weapons I've ever seen in 40k, I don't know what it is. This thing has six barrels. <laughs> Actually looks like it might be quite difficult to paint that, but uh, yeah, that's a bit of an aside. It looks so unbelievably cool. Now I'm guessing that this one is going to be kind of like your multi-shot dealing with horde kind of weapons. There it is from the side as well it gives you a much better view of the uh, kind of destroyer body that it's sitting on but yeah I'm guessing that this weapon is kind of going to be more like the heavy cannon that was on the old heavy destroyers so your typical kind of strength 10 destroying vehicles thing but yeah I mean rule of cool for me definitely says that I'm going to have to build this version because I just think this looks so cool as for the lower half of the model I'm actually a big fan of that too it definitely is retaining that really ancient kind of feel and again, you get those super cool, nice details in there. But oh my god, I'm so excited to get my hands on one of these. It just looks so incredible. But yeah, we're kind of comparing that to this. Or in fact, where's the upgrade? Here we go. No, that's the... Here we go. Here's the Necron Heavy Destroyer upgrade kit. This thing's classic. You know, it's got its own charm. It's been around for a very long time now. But when you compare that to this, I mean, this thing looks a hundred times more monstrous. A hundred times more beefy. This thing just looks absolutely amazing. Does it replace this as my favourite model in the army so far? I'm going to have to say yes it does. And then finally the last thing we have is a Canoptic Doomstalker. So this tends to be the case that when you have a big starter set you end up getting the kind of uh, weaker or more vanilla version which is obviously the reanimator and then if you buy a separate kit then you can get the one with the ridiculous heavy weapon attached to the top. So again this one looks super cool. I like the fact they've distinguished it not only by having the extra weapons and a slightly different shape to the whole thing, but they've also repositioned the legs, which looks pretty cool. This one looks a little bit taller and kind of more upright. But yeah, I mean, this thing has been distinguished obviously by having the enormous cannon on top of it and the extra weapons in front and the face doesn't have a really long neck attached to it, or maybe it does, but not quite as exaggerated. But let's have a look. It's got a colossal doomsday blaster mounted to the back of these leggy constructs 
ships can be fired on the move or they can remain stationary to unleash its full cataclysmic potential. Then we've got the two gauss flares there on the front as well. So I think that pretty much rounds off our look at all of the 9th edition Necrons that we've seen so far. I'm super excited, I don't know about you guys. It just seems like a, a box set that's almost too good to be true. My only concern at the moment is that the price levels are just going to be too high because I think the Dark Imperium set was actually really well priced just based on the colossal amount of plastic that was in that set. But yeah, anyway, I've been talking for a long time, so I'm going to leave this one here. Let me know down below in the comments whether you are more excited for the Necrons or the new Primaris Marines, but don't get me wrong, these look pretty cool as well but are you more excited for the necrons which of these kits do you think are the best do you agree with my opinions on them are you as excited as i am let me know if you are interested in me covering the occasional more 40k content because actually this video has been quite refreshing and fun to do but yeah otherwise don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys really soon